I'm going to talk about chord melody on the ukulele. And I'm going to use for an example tune that great Joe Beam Bossa Nova classic Meditation in the key of C. Now there's always more than one way to play chord melody on ukulele or guitar because there's more than one way to make each note. You can make each note in two or three different places on the ukulele. And in each of those places you can build the chord in a different way beneath it. So we're going to use just that chart that's in the Bossa Nova Classics for Ukulele book. And we're going to stick with those chords and try to build our melody around it. So if you've got that book, then you'll have the chart and you'll know what chords I'm playing. The first thing I recommend is to play the melody alone first, without the chords. Just let your fingers get confident on playing the melody in a real musical, lyrical way. And this way you get sure of what the melody should be as you're learning the chords. The fingering might change as you add the chords, but at least you'll feel pretty strong about what that melody actually is. Now, as I mentioned before, there's more than one place to play the melody note on the neck. Uh, it, you'll see how I'm doing it. I'm making it more or less so it's going to fit with the chords that we're going to put under the melody. and then it repeats. Now I'm going to add the chords that are in the chord chart in the book. I'm just going to feather the chords in under the melody that we've learned. So I'll use just those chord shapes except for one D minor when I get to it because it doesn't quite support the melody in the way I want it. So I'm using all open strings to start with and our melodies here. and then it goes back and repeats. Now let's take a close look at how the melody fits with each one of those chords as we go along. The first one is all open strings, that makes it easy, and our melody's here, so it's and we add this note to it, so it's in my and the next one we have an F sharp minor chord, lonely room and this is our two chord major pattern in the B position that we uh, use in the workbook. So it's just F sharp minor 7 to B 13. But we're doing something a little different with this F sharp minor 7. We're turning it into a sus chord, uh, but we do that by just taking off the little finger. And we do that because the melody note is down here behind, it's right here. So if we have the little finger on, we don't get the melody note. So we take it away and we get the melody note automatically. Lonely room. And that's why I chose to play the melody here, a lonely room, instead of a lonely room. You could do it here too, but then we wouldn't be able to hold on to the chords. So, lonely room, and then I go to a, the B13, the companion chord. Now we let go of this finger, our ring finger, because the melody is going to be behind it here, where we have the chord barred. So, when you're... Then we go back to the open string chord, the C6. So 
So that's all those notes are happening while the open chord is ringing. And I'm all by myself and I need. Now we go to an E minor 7. Your caress. But we do the same thing we did here on the F sharp minor 7. We're down here on the E minor 7. We take off this string and turn it into a sus chord because the melody is going to be this open note. And adding this note back in under the to complete the E minor 7 chord. And go to its companion chord, the A13, but as you'll see in the book, we're lowering this note to make it a what we call a sharp 5. That's how it fits in the song. And then we go to a D minor, and this is the one that's not in the book. In the book, it's shown up here. And I just think of you. But we, the melody note's right here, so we haven't got much of a chord to put under it. And that could be okay, we could even play it alone, but if we play it down here, the same note, we get two notes to make a full D minor chord. And that's where the melody is, so we're not playing this string. You can, you can mute the string if you want. I did that a lot of times. A lot of times I'll do that uh, by putting a finger on it, or maybe back here, my little finger, or I just won't play it. I just play these first three and don't play this last string. I just, and now this finger comes off the index finger. I just, because that's where the melody is. Now we go to F minor 7, but again we do something different. The melody's here. So we're going to go with just these three strings. So I've got an F minor 7 chord, but I've got this, putting this with it here on the pinky. Technically makes it an F minor 9, and we're going, Think of you, and goes to its companion chord, the B flat 13. Now we have uh, open string here. We go to an E minor 7, but we've got the same trick. We don't play this finger. We've got an, a, a, a suspended chord again. We're just not even playing that string. But it's an E minor. If we put our completed it, we'd have this. If we're going to sing it, we'd play it with this, this string down. But our melody notes here. Thought of you holding me. The melody notes right here. And then going to the A with the sharp 5 again, which is in our patterns, in the workbook, it looks like this is a 13, but we're just lowering it here to make it a sharp 5. And that's right where the melody lies. Thought of you holding me near. Now we lift up. Our middle finger makes my... Going back to the uh, D minor chord, but it, it's this D minor right here. And the melody note is here. So what I've chosen to do is to... It's another kind of a suspended chord. So in the chord is here, but the melody is on this string back here. So I'm playing the first two notes of the chord. And there's our melody. Nominous sings. Now I dip back this Now going to the complement chord. Again, not playing this one, just these three strings. So it's this major pattern, but we're not playing the high string. And and that's the entire A section, and it repeats exactly just like that again before it goes to the bridge. And now I'll add some bossa nova rhythm to our melody and chords. Just kind of feathering in the bossa nova feel. Not playing too hard, not playing too fast. Just to kind of get some motion into the melody and chords.
then we go on to the B section.